Okay, so um, so for electrons, if you do the experiment very carefully, again, what you see is interference, and that the probability distribution of finding an electron um, looks very much like uh, the intensity distribution from waves that are interfering through a double slit apparatus, okay? And the math is the same too. The probability distribution when both slits are open, P12, um, is equal to the sum of two amplitudes squared, which when you expand it again gives you this interference term here, and it has a cosine delta dependence. Again, delta is the phase difference between the two, between two waves. We haven't described what those waves are yet, but it's the phase difference between um, the two waves that are arriving at a particular point, as it was for water waves. Okay. Now we'll talk about in a second. We'll talk about what these what phi phi one phi two what what these mean, what they correspond to, or at least we'll start to get a feeling for that. Um, but first, let's um, let's just note that that we have this wave particle duality now, which is which is now really uh, shown in an obvious way with this experiment. So we started off doing the double slit experiment to try to answer the question, is light uh, or any quantum particle, so that is can be an electron, it can be a photon, is it, is it a particle or is it a wave? And what we found is that the double slit experiment still doesn't give us a definite answer. It doesn't tell us whether light is a particle or a wave. Um, because what we see is elements of both, okay? And so quantum particles seem to depend, seem to behave, uh, or to exhibit wave-like or particle-like behavior, both depending on, on um, the particular experiment which is done. For example, um, the Compton experiments, the Compton scattering and photoelectric effect sort of highlight the particle-like behavior of photons, um, the double slit, the double slit uh, experiment, on the other hand, for example, shows uh, wave-like behavior for uh, both photons and electrons. The example I just gave was for electrons, and so um, it's still not clear. And you know, one thing that people that you may want to uh, guess is going on is maybe you say, oh well, maybe the Maybe the source um, of the light somehow uh, puts out a wave or puts out a photon, depending on the particular experiment that's being done. So maybe there's some sort of communication between the actual experimental apparatus and the source of the of the particles, the source of the quantum particles, um, that tells it, okay, send out a particle or send out a wave. Okay, and then basically to rule that may sound preposterous and to rule to rule out such a possibility we could do an experiment where for example we put a single light source um, we used a single light source to do both uh, uh, like a double slit experiment and a photoelectric experiment so maybe we put a single light source between a double slit apparatus and a photoelectric effect experiment and we basically let the experiments run okay so how does the source know to send out particles to one direction and waves to the other direction. Right? It doesn't make any sense. And also, we can imagine that we could use light from a distant source, like a galaxy or a distant star, as uh, in order to do both our double slit experiment and our photoelectric experiment, photo photoelectric um, effect experiment. And so, certainly, we we can't the experiment can't communicate with that source, which is so far away, on any reasonable time scale, to tell it to put out a um, a photon, a particle, or a wave. So it would basically violate causality to do that. And so we know that if we did such an experiment, the double slit and the photoelectric effect uh, experiment would give the exact same results as before. That is, whether you, uh, uh, no matter what source you use. Okay. And so we must conclude from this. We have to conclude that that light is not a particle or a wave, but a particle and a wave. It is both a particle and a wave and displays um, appropriate behavior depending on the experiment.